All right, YouTube, I want to show you a new product that I bring to the store. This is going to be a very entry spot welder, okay? Uh, this uh, spot welder is made by AWIF. It's the same one as uh, as the CP, uh, what, 1500? Uh, this product is under uh, Kerpru uh, brand, but it's made by AWIF. Uh, you hear, you have here the specifications from this product. It's a battery base. It's, uh, you know, have a, a 5,000 milliamps battery. This product at the same time, I'm going to be talking while I open this to don't waste time. Uh, it's a power bank as well, uh, the, the spot welder. If you see here, you can connect a USB-C. Uh, well, this is input. The output, it's a USB 2.0, which is uh, only 5 volts, uh, 2.4 amps. So it's a 10 watts uh, charging for cell phones, uh, which is not bad. So and just to show you here quickly how the spot welder works. I'm not gonna take too much time. This is the information, output voltage, 4.2 uh, volts. It's a maximum current of 1,000 amps. Uh, it's not powerful. Uh, it's just a very basic welder. But if you see, have a 5,000 amps capacity, 3.7 volts, 18.5 uh, watts hour. That's what we got. The Type-C input, it's 5 volt, 2.1 uh, amps, which is 10, uh, 10 watts. Um, we're gonna be testing here the power button. In this unit is here, you press, a well, long press, and now we have a power button. The top part is will tell you the battery uh, uh, indication, how much battery you have left. This one is fully charged. Uh, this, if you keep going pressing, for example, it have 11 gears. So you don't, you cannot change anything else. That's the first gear, second, third, and we keep going. When it go to the end and you press again, that's your number 11 when it's in the right side. You keep going, not 11, I'm sorry. Uh, it, this one is the number 11. When we press one more, it's starting number one, okay? This welder came with these cables, which they are not bad. Let me tell you, for the price, it's not bad. Have these tips, copper tips. Let's connect that now. We are gonna start testing. And again, this is a very entry level. Hey, this is in the store for $34.99, $34.99. So it's a very entry level. Uh, this came with the samples. I don't know, I believe it's 0 0.1 probably, uh, nickel. And it came the connector, I mean, a USB-C, which is uh, charging. So let's take out this out of here. Well, it came with this. Ah, it came with the sandpaper. Look at this. 800 to clean the tips. And it came with the instruction. Let me show you this here to don't have a bad habit. Basically, it's telling you what I was telling you before. See, here is the gears from the first gear to the 11 gears. And, you know, the indication from how much power you have left and all that good stuff. So let's take out this out of here and let's start testing. That's what we care. I have, like always, my donated batteries. I feel sad for my batteries right now. Hey, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to start testing in the maximum or not the maximum, but almost probably gear number 10. I don't expect again uh, this be a powerful welder. Let's see how it does. Um, I'm going to start with nickel steel. This nickel steel, uh, it's a uh, 0.12. I'm going to see how it's going to do uh, with this nickel steel. All right. Let's see. There we go. One more. There we go. I guess it's too much power, maybe. Let's see if it's sticking. Look at the welds. Nickel steel, 0 0.12. That's not, doesn't look bad. Actually, definitely, it stick pretty well. So this is more uh, a kind of welder, I will call it for, you know, fixed batteries, uh, very small jobs. Look at that. I mean, for the price, we can know that's for more. Uh, it's not even in the pow full power, okay? Uh, let's try now another battery. We should, let me, let me take something. I don't, think, I don't think it's gonna be a super, super strong weld, but Actually, it's not bad. Look at this. Not bad. It buys it pretty good. Not bad. Let's try with nickel 0 0.15. That's 12. I have here, where is my 15? This one is my 15, which is pretty high. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try with 0 0.1, pure. This one is pure nickel. I don't think it's gonna handle pure, but let's, who knows? Maybe I have to crank to the maximum power. Let's try this. Maximum power, uh, no maximum power, but 0 0.1, but this one is pure, pure. Actually, it's biting pretty good. Let's see how it's doing. 0 0.1, but this one is pure. Actually, it works much better than nickel steel because it's going to have more conductivity. That's good. Damn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I have the maximum test, which I was not expecting that that's going to work, but I have here 0. Point, this one is 0 0.15 pure. I don't think it's going to do this. At all, but let's let me try with a brand new battery. And now I'm gonna crank probably to the maximum because I expect 
that's the maximum gear now. I guess we need the, all the power to do this. If it does it, because it's 0.15 uh, pure. It's going to be tough. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Maybe it's not a very heavy bite, but no. That's too much. That's too much. Actually, it, maybe if we do few, but no, that's that's way too much. 0 0.15 pure is too much for this. Yeah, probably we can do 0 0.1 pure. You see, we can do 0 0.15, uh, probably uh, nickel steel and 0 0.1 nickel steel, obviously. Zero, again, 0 0.15 nickel steel, 0 0.1 nickel steel. We can do 0 0.1 uh, pure uh, nickel. Let me just for the fun, just for the fun, I don't think this is going to work at all, which is going to be... This is again nickel steel. Let me let me just shot for fun. 0 0.1 copper. I don't think it's gonna work at all, but just for the fun. Let's see what is my copper. 0 0.1. We don't expect sandwich here, but just for the fun. You know I like to you know try the limits. Just for the fun. Actually, it's backwards. It's not gonna work. Never like that. I need to put the nickel on top. My bad, my bad. That was pure copper. Okay, nickel on top. Copper in the bottom. I don't, no, no, that's way too much. I'm dreaming with this machine. That's way too much. Anyway, you see what we got. That's the limit of that machine. I go straight to the limits. I don't want to start playing with different things. But look at this for $34.99. Buddy, we cannot ask for more. It's, a, it's a not bad for those those quick repairs, those small batteries for some somebody that want to learn. And, uh, well, don't have too much money for buy a good machine, uh, you know, an expensive machine. That's a very beginner uh, entry level machine, okay? You can have that in the store. Check it out. I'm going to post the link uh, for this machine, okay? Uh, have a good one.